there's a USB and a dongle. There is a serial number on the dongle. You cannot tear off the serial number once the dongle is damaged. Please contact our sales team and provide the serial number. First, plug the USB into your computer. Then, open the folder Craft Express RIP to download the software. Click Next. Select a destination folder and click Install. The pop-up window indicates that you need to plug the dongle into your computer. After plugging in the dongle, double-click the icon to open the software, then open the folder and download the printer driver. Select the appropriate driver run as administrator according to your computer system. The pop-up window indicates that you need to turn on the printer and connect it to the computer with USB. When the printer is powered on and successfully connected, click OK. Now, select Scale Unit and Language. Click the arrow icon to enter the backend operation interface. Click the printer icon to delete the existing printer and import a new printer. Now, delete the existing printer from the folder, right-click the icon and click the properties. Now, we click the printer icon to set the property. If there are no special needs, it is recommended that these properties remain in unchanged Click the device setting icon to choose your DTF printer. First, right click to open the printer preferences. Choose maintenance and click head cleaning. When the cleaning cycle is finished, you can start to print. Click the picture icon, choose a picture. Adjust the size of the canvas according to your printing needs. For canvas margins, it is recommended that the margins be set to 0.59 inches. It has an auto collage function that automatically collages pictures and pictures together when they are close together. Right click to set the mode. Select a picture and click the lock icon on the bottom toolbar. You can change the shape of the picture. Click the back icon. You can take back an undo operation. You can double click the toolbar to drag it around. Click on the lock icon again. You can zoom in and out of the picture in equal proportions. The toolbar also includes some common image changing functions, rotate, mirror, and more. Click on the restore icon to restore the image to its original size. You can enter new value to adjust the size and position of the picture. Let's get to know the right toolbar. The second item is to select the spot color generation, and it is recommended to select 100% white as the default value. Next, adjust the pixel for the invaginate and extend of white ink. Then adjust the threshold of white ink. It will show the effect of ink volume. Click Save to finish your adjustment. 
type a name for the setting so that next time you can directly select the parameters based on the same type of picture. Here's the multi-image layout features. Click the layout icon to make a full layout for your design. Click the second button and enter values to create a multi-row and column layout. Click the third button to make multiple copies of your design. The last button is used to fill the canvas with the design. Click the center icon to center the picture on the canvas. After finishing the setting, click RIP to make the print setting. Click Horizon Mirror and click Print to start printing. When the transmission is finished, the printer will start to work automatically.